hi guys uh, welcome to another tutorial of mysql uh, 8 uh, database administration uh, today we'll be talking about uh, the another uh, part of uh, roles in mysql 8 uh, that is mandatory roles in mysql uh, this is uh, required uh, like for s when you want to create uh, a user and you want some roles that should come uh, when s whenever the user is created so you don't need to assign uh, any roles uh, any privileges or roles uh, after creating the user so what you do is uh, you have already some mandatory roles in your organization and uh, that used that should be uh, assigned to the user uh, whenever it's created so once you create a user uh, those roles are automatically assigned uh, to your user so in order to achieve that uh, let's do the practice and i will let you know uh, how we can achieve this uh, for going further uh, please like and subscribe to our channel uh, so you don't miss any other upcoming videos and please share these videos with your circle uh, so we can grow up more and more thank you uh, let's do this uh, let me uh, create a role and in order to do that uh, let's create a rule so that's how we create a role uh, just simple uh, create role command and let's grant uh, some privileges to this role and after that uh, let's grant uh, another privileges uh, that is uh, i'm doing is sys dot version 2 mandatory report role and after that uh, let's uh, set uh, this variable and I'm doing that with set persist so set persist means that once you use this persist command uh, you don't need to do any changes inside your configuration file so what it happens once you use the set, set persist command uh, once you if in even if you restart your database uh, uh, then uh, this configuration will be the same so it won't wipe up uh, it will comes uh, uh, even after the startup because there is another file in mysql it's a persist configuration file and these all configura configuration are saved in a separate file and uh, from there these values comes i will show you that sometime another time uh, but for now let's focus on our roles so now uh, this this uh, mandatory role has been set so if you check here select uh, this variable uh, we have the mandatory report role uh, set as mandatory role so now let's create a role so once we create a role uh, this uh, uh, mandatory role should be uh, should be assigned to this so uh, let's say uh, let's uh, let me uh, log into this user uh, from my another session and i will show you that what is happening uh, once you log into the user so let's say show grants uh, and let me show you that from where i'm connected uh, select user and i'm connected to the tba test uh, this user which we have created here and let's check uh, show grants so if you see here uh, the mandatory role has been assigned automatically we haven't uh, granted this role uh, we just created the user and this role has been automatically assigned to this but the problem here is if you see here we don't have the grants here it's only showing that we have been assigned a role and these grants are not reflected yet this grant and this grant is not reflected inside the grants so the reason for that uh, you have to set the role so once you set the role uh, currently I'm doing this uh, manually but uh, this can be done automatically for that we have a variable and uh, let's say we, now as you see I have set the role and let's say show grants if you see here the grants uh, have been uh, reflected so uh, because we have to set this role this is by design but we can do that automatically uh, we have a vi variable uh, let's uh, unset this first and show grants again and let's uh, exit from here and let me do this automatically ha let me show you what is the variable through which we can do that so we have a variable called active all roles on login and this variable when said this can be either zero or one once this is one whenever the user login uh, the default the mandatory very mandatory roles uh, should be uh, like set automatically so now uh, last time what we did is uh, when we logged into our user uh, then the 
the rows were not set so if you so check this time uh, let's say show grants you see the select and the employees are still over there but previously what i did is i unset the role as well and once i did the show grants there were no uh, privileges and if you see my uh, uh, let me uh, let me type a select uh, current score role I hope so this should be enough or oh, like this yeah so mandatory roles has been assigned so this is how our mandatory roles works one thing is uh, any system uh, user privileges uh, which are assigned to the mandatory roles uh, that will error out uh, if it has been assigned in your configuration file uh, it will throw an error inside your alert uh, the error log uh, here in this error log and if you do it on the prompt uh, in the runtime it will throw up the error and it won't be it won't be changed so it will it will be unchanged so you cannot do the system uh, system user privileges assigned to the user so that's uh, uh, that's it for today uh, and thank you so much for coming and thank you so much for listening uh, to this tutorial i hope you guys have learned something from this tutorial uh, please uh, comment below and let me know uh, what are things you are looking for future so i can cover those as well thank you so much uh, for coming and listen to our tutorial please subscribe like and share